Singapore celebrated SG50 not too long ago, two years ago. Hayes has had its 50 years as well. If we get to Hayes 100, uh, would, would we get to SG100? We have to be reasonably alarmed. Less hate does not mean no hate. Even if there is hate this year, that wouldn't be as much as um, that in 2015. The fire in 2013 and 2015 were different. In the case of 2013, fire had happened in, mainly in Rio province, which is very close to Singapore. But in the case of 2015, um, that had happened in, mostly in Jambi and South Sumatra. And uh, in these, these areas are far from Singapore, but and the 2015 was, was an year for Super El Nino, so we had um, like a lot of emissions. One difference between 2015 is that this year is an El Nino neutral, so like, and, and we have some rain. Severe haze would likely be the new normal going forward if we don't take appropriate and sufficient action urgently. There are three key reasons for this, one of which is higher temperatures globally and in the region. It means that it is easier for fires to sustain themselves, easier for fires to start and spread. The second key point is that we do have a growing middle class globally. If we consider India and China alone, uh, just imagine the millions, uh, the, the hundreds of millions that uh, are consuming much more. And much of the food and even toiletries, uh, much of the goods that people consume uh, actually do utilise palm oil. And that means that there will be an increasing acreage uh, for, of palm oil plantations and pulp plantations as well. Now the third driver is the increasing proportion of peatland within the acreage used for palm oil plantation. The fires actually can survive uh, in oxygen-poor environments, which means that it could appear that we have put out the fire on the surface, but it's actually smouldering beneath and it pops up either at that spot or most likely elsewhere. What people don't realise is that the particulate matter from, from burning, that has a significant impact on our health. Uh, the hospitals will tell you that there is a distinct change in the severity of respiratory conditions uh, of admitted patients during that period. And there's a business impact as well. If severe haze would become the new normal, we can expect businesses to uh, defer investment decisions in Singapore, to relocate their staff and their families away from Singapore. So consider the GDP impact, consider the tourism impact. A friend who was a CEO who was and is a CEO in an insurance firm here told me that you know his his firm and people would relocate away from Singapore if severe haze continues. We have to see uh, how the uh, fires are going to develop in Jambi and South and Sumatra provinces in Indonesia. It's, this is the most important thing for the next few weeks. Water table level of peatland is very important. So rainfall, total amount of pre precipitation in these areas, is one thing uh, which controls the uh, water table levels. But at the same time, um, the water table level is controlled by um, how people develop canals and how, they, how people control canals. And um, for that part is human activity. So it's a combination of natural phenomena and human activity. And also, um, in theory, if no one puts fire, um, even if there are some dry pit, there wouldn't be any, any, any fire.